today is I'm gonna make a video um, on I'm gonna wash the, the California she hasn't been washed in about I'd say six or seven months so what I want to do is I want to give it a really good clean inside but more importantly I want to wax the outside of it um, and I try and wax it at least twice a year which means because I have it a year I've waxed it twice so I'm gonna give it a good wax, a good thorough clean, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a video of me recording it. It'll be time-lapse, and I'll try and speed it up so that it's not too boring, but uh, actually I saw somebody do a video like this before, and I found myself watching it, strangely enough, it's a bit hypnotic, whatever. Um, so, so what I'm gonna do is, I've, I've laid out my bits and pieces here on the floor uh, below me, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my kit, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll move the van into position, and I'll watch it. And like I said, look, it's gonna be time-lapse, speed it up, so, watch it if you want whatever okay so what have we got here Hoover naturally I have a pressure steamer which is quite handy a Karcher pressure steamer so I use that for steaming the upholstery um, I saw a professional valeter doing it one day and uh, he told me it kind of freshens up the, the, the um, freshens up the fabric and um, that's a little um, little a little polisher, a little battery, or not battery, but a little electric polisher that my wife bought me for my birthday. So I'm going to give that a go today and uh, see if it's any use. Buckets, a couple of buckets, one for rinsing, one for soapy water. And then I have this brush here. It's actually meant for cleaning windows, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for the top of the van and reaching the awkward spots. 1001 carpet remover, excellent piece of kit for taking the stains out of the carpet, especially down where your feet are. That's the car shampoo. I have upholstery. This is new, cheapy kind of stuff. I bought upholstery foam cleaner if I need to use it. This is my brush for doing the alloys, very handy. What's this? This is just an attachment to get down into crevices into the put through the Hoover. I have this crud cutter stuff. It's very good, very good on the um, alloys and things like that. I have tire shine, which I love because it really brings up the black really brings up the black blackness of the tires this is wheel shine so these are these are new additions to my kind of arsenal of cleaning and um, this will just clean up the alloys and so you just spray it on you spray it on and leave it to work and it, it takes the crud out I was given this it's polish and you fire it on so I think anywhere you miss or something that's very good it's used by um, professionals when they're cleaning the cars you know showrooms and so on so I find it very good an assortment of sponges this is for waxing and buffing. This is what I use for cleaning the car itself. And then I have my wax. Um, yeah. So there's a lot there. And I'd say, I use this usually, wait right now. Okay, back in. So that, that it, it'll take me three hours, I'd say, because A, I have a tendency to get sidetracked on these things and get distracted very easily. But also, um, I'm kind of slow and tour and so, and I somewhat enjoy the process I'll be honest I do like doing it it's three hours of just kind of farting around cleaning the van and stuff so like I said I set up a a time lapse and then yeah I set up a time lapse and we'll see we'll see if it's any good so okay <laughs> Okay, so done. It's half three.
three. I'm not sure if I started at half one or half twelve, so probably three hours. Um, it's done. She's clean, spotless. I didn't steam the seats because it didn't really need to. I tend to keep the interior fairly tidy. The outside was filthy, absolutely filthy. I couldn't believe how dirty it was. Um, because we'd gone kind of off road slightly the last time we were out, so it was really, really filthy, dirty, especially the arches and the wheels, very dirty. So um and uh, I picked the wrong day it's, it was forecast to be a beautiful day here and um, it was which is unusual <laughs> so I picked the wrong day so the, the, the van was a stop saying so the van was a little bit hot on one side which made waxing it a little bit prob problematic but I got it done anyway and the buffer that I was using the little Halfords buffer uh, that my wife bought me cheapest chips very good it was really really handy and um it took a lot of the elbow grease out of kind of polishing up after I put on the wax. So just kind of getting used to it. First time I ever used it, so just kind of get used to it. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So she's spotless now. I'd say she's nearly as clean as the day we got her. And um, I'm happy enough with that. And so that's that's the wax done. I'll give her another wax probably later on into the summer. Um, and that's it. So look, you know, it's going to be a long time-lapse video of me cleaning the van. I've no idea. I haven't watched it, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, it could be interesting or not. I'll stick it up either way. So um, Yeah, so look thanks for watching and uh, if you have any comments or anything uh, You know feel free to uh, stick them down and uh, I'll be interested to read it People do comment on these videos and it's actually quite interesting and um, they're fairly positive and there seems to be a bit of a uh, People out there who are, who are interested in the VW California. I know when I put up a video Mentioning VW California it gets a lot of views, which is great. So yeah, so look Thanks for watching and um, talk soon.